What's going on guys? I'm here for the second half of Houston and Ohio State. It's about to start right now. The other game that's going on, Oregon, UC Irvine. Oregon's up 20 to 15. Houston is up 39 to 31 as they are back from half. Cougars with the ball. Galen Robinson. Dish off to Brady and he's fouled. They can't jump ball. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Yeah, what's up? We got a guy in here. What's going on? Houston's up 39-31. Let's go. Good D. Now, who's in? Who's in here? Who's in the stream? Comment who's in the stream. Why isn't? I don't know. There's quarters in uh, women's college basketball, but it's kind of I don't know. I like halves better personally, but I think it's kind of stupid. That they have quarters and women's and halves and men's. It's kind of stupid. That doesn't really make sense. But yeah, they probably should just have quarters. It'd be it'd just be more reasonable. Oh, excuse me. What game are you watching? Any game right now? What are you doing? Besides watching the stream. Foul. They keep calling fouls, man. Come on. In Europe, so can't watch basketball. Oh, what are you in Europe for? Let's go, Houston. Let's go. Let's go. Nobody scored since halftime. Fabian White can't knock it down. I live in England, but. Oh, really? Who's playing? Oh, my God. Dude, this freaking key is so annoying. This keyboard. Who's playing? Hey, good. Oh, cool. So you traveled down there to see it. That's cool. When is it? Tomorrow? Or whatever. Whatever time. I don't even know what. What time is it? Where you're at right now? Going that way. There we go. What time is it? Where you're at? Oh, that's a tough shot. He airballed it. Brooks for three. He's off. He's been off this whole tournament. Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? Davis missed another wide open three. Come on, man. Houston's only up by six. You know? Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? Houston hasn't scored in four minutes and 30 seconds. And it's a four 
point game now. 3.10 a.m.? Damn, you're up late. What time is the soccer game? Let's go L.U. Bryson Gresham. What time is the soccer game at? ESPN has Houston as 79.5% chance to win. No way. Yep, brick. There we go. Midnight Eastern Europe, so weird. Damn, midnight? That's crazy. That's late, man. I would. I have like basketball games at nine o'clock. I'm mad. I'm still tired. Can't imagine playing one at midnight. It's crazy. Like I can I can barely play a basketball game at nine o'clock. That's midnight. That's crazy. That's late. Yo, what's up? We got another viewer in here. What's going on? They played it to suit England fans watching. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But that's still late, though. That's crazy. Oh, I don't really watch a lot of soccer, but I've been I've been a little bit lately. I've been watching a few Premier League teams, but. Or Premier League games, but I haven't watched a lot of soccer this year. They keep having TV timeouts. It's so annoying. There's just so many pauses in basketball games now. It's so annoying. Watching college basketball. Yes, I've ever football, but I like soccer because I'm decent at it. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta like the sports that you're good at, like. But yeah, I basketball is probably my main sport. Football's football's probably second for me. Baseball season starting up. I'm re I'm really excited for baseball. I think my Astros are gonna be good. Are you a, are you a baseball fan? Of any chance? Do you watch any baseball? <laughs> so tired. Yeah, it's like 10 p.m. over here. It's not too late, but I'm starting to like basketball. I was watching James Harden before. He was quality. Oh yeah, same. I watched him. Like I've I've been a fan of the NBA for a long time, and don't watch baseball. Yeah, basketball is a fun sport. It's just fun because it's, there's like it's it's always there's always something happening. There's always points being scored. Like football, it's it's fun. But, like, you run a play, and then you stop, and then you run a play, and then you stop, and then... But, I mean, it's it's still exciting, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, it's just like, basketball's always going, 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 it just makes it more exciting. What was I going to say now? Yeah, when James Harden got traded to the Rockets, that's really when I started watching, like, NBA. That's really when I started watching basketball. Balls end to end as well. Yeah, I know. It's just always fun. And there's so, there's so many close games. And it's always, like, it, it's always, like, any team can win. 
I mean, not it's not always that case in college, but I mean, in the NBA, any team could be any team unless it's like the Suns or the Cavs. But like besides that, good defense. I'm gonna say he stepped out of bounds. But basketball is my favorite sport. I used to. I um I was horrible at basketball last year, but then I was pretty good this year. And I was gonna play AU, but I didn't. It's just like it's a lot of traveling, and I wasn't down for it. Buckeyes get another open three. Same in NFL. We nearly lost to the Jets, then nearly beat the Eagles in the next week. I know. And we should have beat the Eagles in that game, too. That was so frustrating. They scored that touchdown with, like, what, two minutes left, and the Eagles drove up the field and scored the game winner. Let's go, Galen. That's what I'm talking about. Fifteen minutes ago, Cougars up nine. One bad ref call cost us. I know, that's how it goes with so many games. Bad calls. Like, was it versus the Jets when Deshaun Watson? Deshaun Watson was, like, getting sacked. And he wasn't even close to being sacked yet. And they called him. They said he was down or something. They stopped the play. <laughs> they said forward progress was stopped. Yo, what's up, Jackson? How's it going? Are you watching the game? If you're not, Cougars up nine right now, 44 to 35. And the Buckeyes are giving them a fight right now. They're knocking down their threes. But second half has been a completely different story for Ohio State. But the Texans, I don't even know. I haven't really, last year was my first year really paying attention to college basketball. I mean, yeah, not college basketball, college football. And I didn't really pay attention to it that much. But this year, I'm really going to be a college football fan for sure. I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to college football. Along with the NFL. I've been paying attention to the NFL for like five years now. Yeah, that was bullshit. Same as Hobson's catch against Arizona like two years ago. I don't remember that exact. I don't remember the catch with DeAndre Hopkins. But NFL refs now, like, it's just such a joke. It's such a joke with professionals. That's why I'm starting to get into college basketball and college sports because professional, it's such a joke. Oh, I think I, I think I remember that. I think I remember. Which says ref calls are so bad. Like it's just such a joke now. And it happened so much in the NBA, and now it's starting to happen with the NFL. Horrible calls. They go to the Patriots most of the time, and another open three for Ohio State, and they bail us out again. Oh my goodness. Back when we had Tom Savage, yeah, I think I remember. I remember. I actually don't think I was watching me because, okay, she just airballed the mid-range jump shot. I was at, I think, I think that I was at a college basketball tournament, not an and not the like normal tournament, but it was, it was like a beginning of the year tournament at uh, the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. So I didn't get to watch it. Yeah, but not so much Giants anymore. The Giants are a horrible team. They usually go to teams that a lot of fans... Oh, a lot of fans support. It's like the Patriots. And for basketball, it's the Warriors. They get every call. The Rockets get a lot of calls now. And I'm saying that as a Rockets fan. I mean, James Harden flops a lot. And he gets a lot of calls. I'm just saying that. I'm saying that as a Rockets fan. 
And it's true. I mean, the Rockets get all the calls. The Warriors get all the calls. Last year in the Western Conference Finals, the Warriors got all the calls against the Rockets. There was Rockets got no calls. I know. But we're not going to have to worry about that with Will Fuller back. Because if they want to double team him and hold him, then we have Will Fuller on the other side. And that's why we really missed out with Will Fuller. We could have been so good if he didn't get hurt. We needed that other wide receiver to step up. Buckeyes hit a three. Oh, my. It's a five-point game. I'm going to have to start focusing on this game because this is way too close right now. Davis to the basket. No foul. Whoa, you're not going to call that? Oh, my God. This game is crazy. Basketball is too crazy for me. Last year, Houston lost in the tournament on a buzzer beater from around half court. That was heartbreaking. Armani Brooks for three. That's what I'm talking about. Put us back up eight. This is what I'm saying. If the Houston Cougars can knock down the threes, if Armani Brooks can play good, it'd be amazing. Yeah, he's a he's a um he's a really good shooter, but he has a, he didn't play good in the last game. Corey Davis shots in a floater, put us up ten. I think that's the biggest lead of the game. But I'm right, he played horrible last game. But during the season, he's, he was a great um, three-point shooter. I think he was like 35%. I mean, that's not amazing, but it's pretty good. He was like fourth in the American, or third. And uh, Ohio State drops in a little floater of their own. Let's go slow the game down a little bit. There's so much time. Corey Davis missed a three. We don't think he forces a three. Why? Why do you force a three? I don't understand. Corey Davis is three of seven from three with 13 points. Wow, State knocks down another three. Come on. There's no way they're hitting these shots. What's going on? We got another viewer in here. What's going on? Houston's up 5, 49-44. Let's go. Good call. Fabian White is going to the free throw line. And we're going on another commercial. You know, Ohio State's making their threes. There's nothing we can do about it. We've been locking them up in the second half. First half, we let them wide open. This time, we're not giving them anything, and they're still knocking them down. There's nothing you can do as long as we knock ours down. That's all we can do. When they knock down their threes, all we can do is knock down our threes. Our offense is better than it looks. Watson, Hopkins, Miller, Fuller, and QT. The Thomas are quality. Yeah, but we just got, I'm pretty sure we just got rid of Thomas, though. But the Texans are very underrated. They just get overlooked. Like, what, the NBA, the Nuggets? I think they're second in the Western Conference, and nobody talks about them. People talk about Nikola Jokic, and that's it. Nobody talks about them. And they're true playoff contenders. But the Texans just get overlooked as just another team. And they're really not just another team. They're a good team. They're a good team. Now they're just going to play like a good team, which they haven't done in the few, last few years. They played the best they played all year last year. The 6'6 six, six tight end. Who? I don't even know who's our tight end. I don't even know who our tight end is. Isn't Oh, it's that dude, um, Jordan Thomas, right? He's pretty good.
I didn't even know I had that. Yeah, Jordan Thomas is going to be good. After Fedorovus retired with his concussion, Jordan Thomas and Ryan Griffin. Yeah, Ryan Griffin is not that good, but Jordan Thomas, he had a good year last year. And he's going to have another one this year. But Ryan Griffin's just always been like the other guy. Ever since we had him, he's just been the backup tight end. We had Owen Daniels, then we had Fedorowitz. We had a bunch of people. <sighs> Griffin has a filthy juke for a tight end though. Yeah, but he's just... He's just not great. He's a good backup. I mean, he can back people up, but he's just not. He's not. He's not that good. But he can run routes for sure. All right, we go. Games back on. Houston up five. Yo, what's up, Florida football? You're back in here? Houston's only up five. I can't believe it. I'd do anything for Eric Ebon. He's a beast. UVA won. Yeah, they were pretty much dominating. How much did they win by? They won by 12. Yeah, of course they were going to win. But Houston's only, are you watching the Houston game now that that game is over? Did you got did you see Rob Gronkowski? He just retired like a few hours ago. That's crazy. He's getting old. You knew it was going to happen. Let's go. Offensive foul. So yeah, Rob Gronkowski is getting old and he's beat up. Oh yeah, he pushed her off. Oh, I'm tired. I never know who's in chat because it always, the number's always wrong. Wide open, Chris Harris under the basket to give the Houston's an eight-point lead. Let's go. Getting excited now. This is for a sweet 16 visit. We almost got that steal. Who's in chat right now? Are you guys still both there? Because I don't know if there's one person or two people or whatever. I really don't know. Oh, Galen Robinson has three fouls. That's not good. He's been good. He's 5 of 7 with 10 points. And Corey Davis is going to check back into the game. And he cannot be forcing threes. Caleb Wesson's at the free throw line. Hopefully he misses them both. Oh, it's 1-1 one and, one and he missed. Rebound, Chris Harris, Corey Davis pushing it. Giroux to the... Basket, man. Come on, finish that. K-State trash. Yeah, I kind of picked K-State to go to the Elite Eight, and they lost first round. So.
Oregon going to the Elite Eight, to be honest. Maybe the Final Four. Definitely not. Definitely not. I wouldn't say that at all. Who are they going to play now after they beat UC Irvine? If they beat UC Irvine. Do you know? Wait, let me check. I have my bracket. Hold on. Oh, Virginia? Oh, they're not going to beat Virginia. Or actually, you know what? They might beat Virginia. If Virginia can, uh, if Virginia doesn't knock down their three-pointers, they'll beat them. Until they lost to UMBC last year, they couldn't hit their shots. Here we go, Ohio State, Houston, 10 minutes to go. Cougs by six, winner goes on to play Kentucky on Friday. Davis, fadeaway three. Why are you forcing threes? Ooh, okay, good thing he's okay. That was scary. Jesus. Jarrell has four fouls. We have a hurt player. Hurt Buckeye. Oh, he's good, he's good. Take Jarrell, he's four. I was hoping Liberty could pull off that upset. But it couldn't get it done. Come on, Cougs. Close this game out, please. For the city. Please. Keep fouling. Give him, put him in the one-on-one. -on -one. Made the first one. Who's in chat? Who's still here? Who's, it says there's one person. Who's in it? Who is it? He misses the second one. Woods goes one of two. Alright, it's not you. Alright. Robinson got to finish. Come on, man. Please don't blow the game. <sighs> Bryson Gresham's at the free throw line. He can't shoot free throws. God, he's three of three. Oh no, he's he's two of three from the free throw line today. Oh, and Woods is hurt for the Buckeyes. He's limping off the court. Keshawn Woods is hurt. How oh, long have we been shooting? Thirty minutes. Bryce and Gresham, let's go. He's went two of two from the free throw line. That's what I'm talking about. I've never seen him go two of two from the free throw line. Maybe once or twice, but he's like a 50% free throw shooter. Double, 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 double. Good D, good D. No way. Brick, let's go. Rebound. Go, go. Are you watching the uh, Houston game, Florida football? Let's go, Armani Brooks. That's what I'm talking about. Timeout, Buckeyes. Let's go. This 
what I'm talking about. Coog's by nine right now. Commercial because the Buckeyes called a timeout. Eight minutes and 24 seconds to play. Honestly, I think Houston can win. The national championship. I'm hoping UNC loses next round. What do they play the winner of UC Irvine and Oregon, I think? Yes. Oh, no, they play Auburn. They play Auburn. Auburn can beat them. I have Auburn playing them. I have UNC winning, but still hoping Auburn can win. Here we go, back on... Corey Davis with 13, he should be 5 of 13. Let's go, Cougars. Let's go, Cougars. Let's go. Close it out, boys. Close it out. Look at it go to our first Sweet 16 in many, many years. Before I was born. Last time we went to the Sweet 16. Last year we should have, but we lost at a buzzer beater. This time we got to close it out against Ohio State. Just got to play defense and rebound the damn basketball. First they're going to call foul. It was a foul, but... It's Bryson Gresham. Brick. Brick. Knocks the first one down. He said he thinks he's going to... The, the announcer just said he thinks he's going to make it. That means he's going to miss. Never mind. Yo, what's up? Thanks for liking the stream. Got another viewer in here. What's going on? Coog's up by seven. Dude, let's go. Galen Robinson is so good at getting to the basket. He has 12. And that's stolen by Corey Davis. Running the floor. Davis to the basket and the finish. Let's go. Put us up 11.
seven minutes to go from a sweet 16. Come on, double team him. Offensive. Oh my god, this is all so slow. How are you about to call that? All right, one by 11, one by 11, one by 11. This is crazy. It's looking like we're probably gonna be able to go. We're probably gonna go to the Sweet 16. And I would love to go to the Sweet 16. It'd be great. Yo, let's go. We got no viewers in here. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Okay, okay, never mind. It just says score. Hold on, I just want a commercial. Let me see. Houston is up fifty six to forty eight. Oh no, they're up sixty to forty nine. Never mind. And they are seven minutes away from a Sweet 16 appearance. And I am excited if they do make it. Because we're playing Kentucky. If that's... If that's if we win, we play Kentucky on Friday. Are you, you're not watching the game right now. What are you doing? Are you watching any game? Uh, it's a little bit gay, but you know, that's fine. I have nothing against gay people. Uh, yeah, I know you're not actually serious. Yeah, same. So what are you actually doing right now? Are you watching a, a game? Or are you what are you doing? Besides watching my stream, or is that all you're doing? Let's go. This dude can't hit free throws. Never mind. I'm in bed, staring at your face. That's a little bit weird, but you know. I guess that's what you're doing. Stalking at your every move. Oh God. Oh God. It's a little bit weird, but you know, it's fine. Monty Brooks just airballed the three. Fabian White knocks down the little jump hook. Put us up 11. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ohio State has not made a field goal in five minutes. I'm not a normal person. Oh, I can tell. It's okay. It's okay. 
I'm not a known person either, so. Let's go, Houston. Come on. Yo, are you like any gay turd fans from Kaysville? Oh, man. Shoot it. Corey. Dude, knock it down, please, dude. Yo, what do you think? It's how we show our pride. Yeah, that makes sense. Are you a fan of like any, like, do you watch NFL, MLB, NBA? Or are you just a college fan? Good rebound, Galen Robinson. That's why we're one of the best rebounding teams in the country, because we get rebounds over big men. They being white. Oh, I couldn't finish. I watch NFL with no favorite team. Uh, I can't watch a sport without a favorite team. It's like, you got to root for somebody. Ohio State hasn't made a field goal in seven minutes now. And this is just working out for Houston. Four and a half minutes to go. Ohio State couldn't make the freaking three. And they call foul on Chris Harris on the rebound. Apollo's in heat, though Florida teams all the way. Oh wait, isn't the Apollo's uh, the Alliance football team? It's the that's the Alliance football team, right? Yeah. I've I wa I've been watching a few games, but I haven't really watched a lot. And the Miami Heat are uh, doo doo. They're doo doo. Just saying. The Rockets are going all the way. Good pass to Bryson Gresham. Let's go. Up by 11, four minutes to go. Four minutes away from a sweet 16. And ball stolen by Galen Robinson. Up ahead to Corey Davis. And he threw it too far. Come on. Gotta throw better passes than that. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Houston might just go to the Sweet 16. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, up by 11. We should be able to close this game out. Houston or Kentucky? Oh, I got Houston going all the way in my bracket. Can't bet against your own team. And I feel like Houston, I mean, P.J. Washington will be playing for Kentucky. It's going to be his first tournament game this year. But I honestly feel like Houston could beat Kentucky. Uh, I had UF out in the round of 32, which happened. Yeah, I made, like, I, th I think I made two brackets. I made one online and one through paper. But uh, Houston's, like, a I feel like they're actually good enough to go all the way. Like, I'm not even being biased. If any teams have a chance to beat us, it'd be North Carolina and Duke. Those teams have the best chance to beat us. But Houston just took a good defensive team. Oregon is a dark horse. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like Auburn's going to beat um, UNC. At this point, I have UNC winning in my bracket. But 
with the way Auburn's been playing at this point, like, just now, I feel like Auburn could beat UNC. Auburn's such a good team. I know. But I can't beat Houston, though. I can't beat Houston, though. But they're hot, man. They're they're a great three-point shooting team. They're crazy. What's up? We got another view in here. What's going on? Cougs up by 11. Bro, people leave and then they, they join and then they leave immediately. It's so, so good. We lost to them on a bad call. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Hurry up. I just want this game to end right now. I just want to go to the Sweet 16. And then if we beat Kentucky, we'll have to play the winner of UNC versus Auburn. Three players tripped number and in it was no call. Yeah, refs are blind. There's a lot of blind refs out there. A lot. Like a lot. There's a lot of blind refs out there. Oh my god, yeah, that is the worst call I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen I've never seen a worse no call. That was unbelievable. Horrible, horrible. I've never seen such a bad no call. I've never. Ohio State has not made a field goal in eight minutes. They've not made a buck in eight minutes. And now they get an and one. It's not over yet. I'm not celebrating yet. I've seen crazier shit happen. Texas A&M and Iowa State. Or Northern Iowa, whatever it was. Six out of eight refs were born in LA. Oh, uh, yeah, really? I bet, because... Worst no call I've ever seen. But I'm definitely not giving up yet. I mean, I'm definitely not celebrating yet because Ohio State can do anything to come back right now. I've seen crazier comebacks. And he missed the free throw. Okay, but could rebound. Yeah, Houston played a horrible game. They the defense allowed 21 points in the first quarter, then nothing the rest of the game, and the offense couldn't step up. And that's how we win games, our defense. But all we had to do was score two touchdowns and a field goal, and we would have won the game. But we couldn't do that. Come on, Breon Brady, get a bucket. Oh, he almost gets the and one. He needs to knock down at least one of these free throws. He want, and he, yeah, Deshaun Watson is going to be really good. He's young, and DeAndre Hopkins is probably the best wide receiver in the league. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that to be biased, but he probably is the best wide receiver in the league. Because he just, he can catch anything. And he said bad quarterbacks throwing to him through the years. And he can still make great catches. No matter who's throwing to him. Brian Brady goes one of two. Let's go D up, D up, D up. Ten minutes. I mean, three minutes, ten points. Open three. No good. Let's go. Slow the game. Slow, the, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Please, slow it down. Slow it down. No need to rush. Two minutes. And 20 seconds away from a sweet 16. Galen Robinson is fouled. 
and he'll go to the line and try to make it a 12-point game. Oh, come on, Houston. Let's go. Close it out. It's looking like it's over. But I'm not celebrating yet because I've seen crazier shit happen. And he missed it. They can finish this out. UC Irvine is actually coming back against Oregon. It's 35 to 31. Right now, Oregon's up. Let's go. There's one of two. So, you say Oregon's a dark horse. They might lose to UC Irvine. UC Irvine is good. I think they only lost three times. Ohio State missed the layup. Slow it down. Two minutes away from a Sweet 16. We got another viewer in here. What's going on? Houston needs to win. They need to. They need to. And they got the offensive foul on Corey Davis. Okay. There's a minute and 50 seconds to go. Cougs by 11. And they should be able to close this out. They should be able to close this out. There's no way Ohio State comes back. I don't think Oregon going to win, but I'm saying they can go to the Elite Eight. Yeah, I don't know if they they might be able to beat Virginia. Anybody can beat Virginia. Just because they live and die on the three. Here we go. They foul Corey Davis. He'll go to the line. He is a great free throw shooter. I believe he's 90%. Hold on one second. Something real quick. So Davis knocks down the first one. And he knocks down the second one. To put us up 11 with a minute and 20 to go. Good D hitting. Good D hitting. Ohio State, in and out of the three, offensive rebound, he puts it in. It's a nine-point game with one minute to go. We are one minute away from a Sweet 16. Oh, my God, I can't. I can't sit anymore. I can't sit down. Get the chair out of the way. I can't sit down. Auburn could win it all. Staring at your face. Yeah, you're definitely not you're definitely not like weird or anything. That's that's for sure. You're definitely not weird. Sit back down for a second. Dude, I can't. All right, here we go. We're back on. Yeah, I'm just joking. You're totally not being sarcastic. No, I'm not being sarcastic. No, I'm definitely not being sarcastic. You're you're a weirdo. You should leave my stream, weirdo. 
No, nah, I'm just kidding. Ohio State's get a full court press. Get into Corey Davis. They try to trap him. He gets away. They can't foul. Still can't foul. And now they foul. Oh no, they poke it out of bounds. So just waste some more time. There's 59 seconds to go. Cougs by nine with the ball. And now another little skirmish. Right in front of the Houston bench. Galen Robinson gets it into Corey Davis. And he should probably be able to knock these free throws down. Calvin Sanchez just said no threes. I'm in Germany for work this week. My stream died, so I'm living and dying on your community. Keep it up, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Glad you're enjoying the streams, bro. And Houston gets the steal and a foul. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Try to go to a sweet 16. 48 seconds. And you see Irvine has tied Oregon as well, by the way, over on um, TBS. Forty seconds to go. They're gonna jack and well, they're not. They are gonna jack up a three. Air ball. Corey Davis rebound. And they foul with 34. And the Houston Cougars are going to advance to the Sweet 16 for the first time in decades. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, dude. What a season. Davis knocks down the first one. Hashtag Be Kentucky. Hell yeah. You know what's up. Four to football knows what's up. You know what's up, for sure. Beat Kentucky and then go on to beat whoever wins the Auburn game. Corey Davis goes two of two from the line. Ohio well, State's going to take him to the basket. Off. Offensive rebound. Rejected. And they could hold it. Why are you fouling? What's the point? Why are you going to foul down 13 with 21 seconds to go? Oh, and all the Ohio State fans are crying right now. All the Houston fans. You'll be in a tougher, you're in the toughest conference. I know, because we are going to have to beat Kentucky. And then if we beat Kentucky, we'll have to face either North Carolina or um, uh, Auburn. And then if we beat them, we'll either have to go on to face Tennessee, Purdue, 
one or anybody else from, but it's probably going to be either Tennessee or Purdue. Probably Tennessee. Rebound, Corey Davis. They can dribble it around for eight more seconds. And we're going to the Sweet 16. Let's go. What a season. That crowd is a beautiful sight. 4 a.m. Made staying up for this totally worth it. Oh my goodness, for sure, for sure. First 16, first Sweet 16 appearance since 1984. Five Slamma Jamma. 74 to 59, the final score. Houston beats Ohio State. Here's the box score for the starters. Corey Davis at 21. And that is that. So I'm going to end the stream like this. Here, here's the Midwest bracket, by the way, as well. Let me show you guys while it's on the TV. North Carolina, Auburn, Houston, and Kentucky. So I'm going to end this right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Houston's going to the Sweet 16 with a 15-point win over Ohio State. And I will definitely – actually, I don't know. I might stream the Kentucky game next week. But I'm not sure. I'll probably do a live stream with my dad maybe. I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this.